Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to put a picture into the sidebar widget of your website. So I'll just go to my website here. So just say I want to put a banner or a picture. Okay, just say I just want to put a picture. Maybe even a picture of myself or something. Just go down the bottom and I'll see what I've got. I haven't got a picture of myself here. But um, if I want to put a picture in the sidebar, I'm going to show you how right now, okay? Um, because you have to actually um, do a little bit of HTML code and it's pretty easy. Right, so what we're going to do is go back to the dashboard inside the website. Now I'm going to go and press on media because what I want to do first is upload a picture, okay? Now when I'm in the media section you'll be able to see all the pictures that I've got in there but I want to press on add new so you press on this add new button at the top and now you can press on select files so you can find your picture that you want okay oops okay I want to go to my pictures okay I'm going to click on find my pictures um, and I have this one here I want to insert so I know which picture I want I'm going to choose it and press open okay so here it is okay this is my little picture and it's just a um, little sign saying press here Okay, and um, it's 336 by 90. Now we're going to see if it fits in. If it doesn't, I'm going to show you how to change the width of it. Okay, um, also here the ALT text is the text that people see when um, they mouse over your picture. So we could just say it's to sign up so we'll just say um, newsletter newsletter sign up okay I'll just put a capital there so we've got that now the other thing is that we want to take this address with us this is the address of where the actual image is stored so I'm gonna make it all blue right down till the end so make sure you got the dot gif or dot png on the end and right up to the start and now I'm just gonna press save changes so what I've done is I've uploaded the image here and I've also got the URL to the image okay so now I want to go and put it in the sidebar so now I'm going to the appearance section here I'm gonna click on appearance and then I'm going to click on widgets okay so now I want to put a widget in the sidebar so I'm going to take a text widget and put it over here and I'm going to paste that URL that I actually got I'm going to put it in there so I don't lose it or whatever now um, what I'm going to do now is just write the code in front of this um, to make it work. Now, as you can see, that's image IMG is short for image source SRC, and then I'm going to put equals and then um, the marks, and I'm going to put the marks around here slash dun radio now let's see if this works so I'm telling it that to put this image into this sidebar so I'm going to press save okay so what I did is I got the URL of the image okay and I put some HTML around it as you can see right so now I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to refresh the page and see what happens okay so here we go, here's my sign here and it says uh, free ebooks, tips and tricks, yes. Now here it is, it's in the sidebar, that's great, but look what's happened here. 
Okay, so that's not good. So what I'm going to do is go back and adjust the size of the image now. Now, I'm just, remember how this was 336, it probably needs to be 300. Now, I'm going to show you what happens um, if we just squeeze it in from this side and don't touch the um, height of it, okay? Might look a bit funny, but we'll do it. <coughs> okay, so in here we're going to put a space and then we're going to go um, width equals and then put the width that we want in there. We want 300, right, and put the marks around it again. And we go height equals and we're going to just keep it as 90 for now. Now, let's press save and see what happens. We're going to go back and refresh it at the website again. We'll just press on home. Now let's come over here and see what happens. Okay, it's moved in. Alright, it looks a bit skinny but it still looks good. Now I can make it um, in less height so let's go back and just change the height a bit. Let's take it down to 80 and see what happens. Oops, 80. Right. So what we've done is we've got the URL um, of the image that we uploaded and then we're, now we're adjusting the width. See how I've got a space there and then we've got width equals height equals and then um, we've got the slash and that and we're ending the image source here. Okay, so press save and see what happens. It should be reduced down to 80 now. Okay, I'm going to press on um, home just to refresh it again. We'll go back over here and have a look. at. Okay, there we go. I reduced it to 80. Now it looks a little bit better. Alright, um, so that's how you insert an image. You upload it, you get the URL, and then you put a little bit of HTML around it and um, that's it. Now I will put a sample of my HTML below so you can um, copy it and just replace your actual URL in there and also you have to replace your size of your image. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay guys, if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you come up here where it says subscribe and press on the subscribe button here. Um, that'll let you know when we've got all new videos and stuff like that. Also, you can go um, in here and have a look at all more videos if you like. There's heaps, there's 211 so far. You might find something you like. Just scroll along and um, you'll be able to see. And also um, if you're on my website already and you're watching this video you should um, put your email address and name in there and subscribe to our newsletter because uh, I give away like free reports and stuff like that and they're not just any old thing they're, they're written by me and um, they have some really good tips and tricks in there about building websites or you know computer tips or whichever one alright thanks for watching